No stereo. Just sat now and a bucket full of power. Enough power to take on the desert and win. Timo Salomon is the pilot. He and co-driver Fred Gallagher do 500 mile special stages in this car. They actually race across the desert. But today, it's the south of France, and that's me in the passenger seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an announcement. I hate Timo Solana. And I don't believe I am sure that you like. Oh, oh don't I hate you? But me, it's very nice. <laughs> for me, it's Would very you like... nice. Would you like me to show you what I had for breakfast? <laughs> it's very relaxed for me to play with the car. It's not relaxing at all. Girls have been going shopping again. No, 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 no. Yes, they are. You, you go... must uh, look the countryside also. You go shopping in cars. You go out to the cinema in a car. You look the cars. Ah, but this car for to, to look the countryside. <laughs> I've actually been on the Paris-Dakar rally, as a spectator, of course. I've seen the cars do this kind of thing in this kind of terrain. But until I actually went in one of them, felt what it was like, I don't think I really understood quite what was involved. I do now, though. Oh, I want to kill you, Mr. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm going to be sick. You do this 500 miles? Yeah. Without a break? Yeah. Well, you must be mad, you criminally insane. I'm going to report you to the police. <laughs> Get out. This guy is mad. <sighs> He's certifiable. He's quite mad. Quite mad, you know. You shouldn't be working with him. You should yes. be in prison. <sighs> Anyway, my turn. Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is comfortable. It wasn't, actually. In fact, I had to use the spare car, which was more spacious. So my body was all right, but my heart sounded like a tumble dryer full of half bricks. Right. OK. Right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> I say the ride's not bad. Oh, oh, change my mind. How about that? I feel like uh, my mother is driving. Oh, thanks for so that. the same uh, driving style. Thank you very much, Timo. Yeah. They say that the Paris Dakar rally is really only for old men, people who are too ancient and arthritic to take part in proper world rally championships. But don't you believe it? This car is incredibly fast. Yeah, yeah. This car is for men, not for boys. Oh, well, I'm a boy, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, I can feel a little bit like that. <laughs> OK, but no problem. You managed that corner very well. You win that. Oh, oh my fault! Oh, I've got it! <laughs> Ow! Oh, that, OK. Now, how on earth do you come with that sort of thing? No, no, it's, it's, it's flat that you don't think nothing else, only driving. How can you think of not driving when the seatbelt is ruining your manhood? No, it's no problem. It is a problem! No, 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 for me anyway, I have no problem. <laughs> Ooh, I could do that all day. <laughs> yeah, but I, I prefer to go to, to spectating outside. <laughs> Thank you for your vote of confidence, Timo. <laughs> Now, of course, the guys who drive these things across the desert for hundreds of miles need to take with them cool boxes, their teddies, pyjamas, tents, that kind of thing. So, really, it needs to be more than simply two seats, a fuel tank and an engine. Which, as you can see, it isn't. The service manual you have to read before you can work on that is called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And the chief mechanic in the Citroen team, he's called Jules Verne. Now, they have been very kind, I must say. They've said I can have 
One last thrash. 